Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at an acid jazz band from the 90s, a band called Raw Stylus. The album is called Pushing Against the Flow, and I think this is one of the greatest acid jazz slash funky albums there is. The album was produced by Gary Katz, who's famous for producing all the Steely Dan records, and Donald Fagan, and Bernard Purdy, Hugh McCracken, Lou Soloff, Elliot Randall. All these guys sit in and play on different songs, and it's just a really great record. Let's take a look at it song by song. The first song starts off with Michael Buffer saying, let's get ready to rumble. He introduces the band and it's a song called Pushing Against the Flow. And it's just a great song, a great groove. I recommend you turn it up. It's fantastic. The second song is a song called Believe in Me. This is a real poppy song. Starts off with like a nice acoustic guitar. Really nice song. Not as funky as Pushing Against the Flow, but still a really nice song. The third song is somewhat a tribute to Steely Dan. It's a nod to how great Steely Dan is, and they reference Steely Dan. There's a little nod to the song Josie in the song, but it's a real nice song. Beautiful vocals, and you can hear like a lot of the Steely Dan vibe in this song. Song four is probably my favorite song on the album. The song is called King's Cross slash Daybreak. This song is just badass. Just a real badass song. We did this in my funk band. It is great. It's just got a killer groove all around. I love everything about this song. If you're driving, put this song on, turn it up. It's fantastic. Song 5 seems to get a little bit more slow jamish with a song called Higher Love. Great song. And personally, much better than Steve Winwood's Higher Love. This song has a groove. Just badass. Again, it's so good. You really just have to give it a listen. This is something that's going to go by in the night. People have not given this album its due. Higher Love's a great song. Song six is a song called Cuban King Breeze. This song kind of reminds me of song three. It's a little lighter, somewhat steely Danish. You can hear that influence. It's not as funky and as dark as the other songs. So three and six might be my least favorite on the record. It still doesn't mean they're not great songs, but they just aren't on the level of higher love or... King's Cross, which are just fantastic. And speaking of fantastic, Song 7, Tuesday Afternoon, effing great. Unbelievable. This song could be the best song on the album. For me, again, it's either King's Cross, Higher Love, or Tuesday Afternoon. This song kicks ass. Song 8 is a song called Ride Quake. Ride Quake's an instrumental. It's very funky. It has some old school 80s record scratching in there, but it's just a really good song. Great horns, awesome song, really right in there with the album, excellent. Song 9 is a song called Pass Me By. Great, great song. I believe it was one of the singles on the album. Vocally, the harmonies and everything, it's just, it's really, really good. This is stuff you need to listen to. You need to have this album in your collection. It's hard to find. I, I don't even know if I can find a Spotify link for this album. I'm going to try to find a way to post it in the link so you have a way to hear it because I couldn't find it earlier and I will try to hunt it down for you. Otherwise, I might have to post it myself onto something just so you can hear this record. It's so good. The last song on the album, Song 10, is a song called Hungry People. This is a little bit more, again, we're now with the acoustic guitar, a little gospel-y, not so much funk, not really in line with the rest of the album. Still a good song. I don't love, love it, but I think it's a decent song. But overall, this album is one you must listen to. This is a great band. Again, I will find some sort of method for you to hear the whole album. I'll put the links in the description, and you got to let me know what you think of it. As always, very good.